Tunisia is a prime territory for a straightforward sun, sand and sea holiday. Its accessible Mediterranean sea coastline and strategic location have attracted conquerors and visitors through the ages. And its ready access to the Sahara has brought its people into contact with inhabitants of the African interior. So let's have a look to the beautiful places of this country. Sidi Bou site Known for its cobbled streets and blue and white houses, it is located about 20 km from Tunis. It is a picturesque village perched on a cliff overlooking the archaeological site of Carthage and the Gulf of Tunis with al fresco cafes, Tunisian eateries and small art galleries. Jabika Oasis Close to the town of Tamarza in the Zarid region of southwest Tunisia, it is a small mountain oasis town surrounded by a dry and arid desert region just north of the salt lakes. It lies just a couple of miles from the border with Algeria. Jabika receives plenty of tourists to see the impressive collection of rock formations, waterfalls and steep narrow gorge. Carthage The city of ancient Carthage was located on the coast of Mediterranean Sea in what is today the country of Tunisia. It was first established in 814 BCE by the Phoenician Empire and was built around a citadel called the Persa. It was a major power in the Mediterranean from around 650 BCE to 146 BCE and the ruins were designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. Tuza. It rises up out of the desert, nestled into a huge oasis that is home to hundreds and thousands of palm trees. This surprising, fascinating place feels a very long way away from Europe, which is in fact just a few hours away. It forges a path for itself through the narrow alleyways of the old parts of town and between the tall pale brick facades and you will also get to explore the real-life filming locations of your favorite intergalactic epic movie Star Wars in Tuzer. Amphitheater of Elgem The date of completion of this oval-shaped theater is believed to have been around 238 AD. It was built for spectator events such as gladiatorial games. The amphitheater was vast and able to accommodate potentially up to 60,000, making it one of the biggest amphitheaters in the world at the time. El Gem may be considered to be the third largest ever after the Colosseum in Rome and the destroyed amphitheater in Capua. La Galite Island the main island in the center of the archipelago, La Galite measures 5.4 km in length from east to west and up to 2.9 km in width in its eastern part. Bordered by cliffs 200 meters high, it can be approached by the Bay of Esquil de Pasque, south of the island. Thaga Thanks to its 70 hectare of surface area and the remains of more than 70 century of history, the Thaga site is considered to be one of the best surviving examples of the adaptation to the Roman town planning model of a city founded by the Numidians, which was heavily punicized. They form an exceptional complex which illustrates the successful synthesis of different cultures, Numidian, Punic, Hellenistic and Roman. The excellent state of conservation of most of its monuments and its rich epigraphic collection led to its inclusion in the UNESCO World Culture and Natural Heritage List in 1997. Temerza Oasis It is the largest mountain oasis in Tunisia located north of the Salt Lakes. It is a beautiful destination to walk through a Grand Canyon and to explore an abandoned old town.
Kirkwan. This Pinic city, located at the tip of the Kampon Peninsula, is on the UNESCO World Heritage List since November 28, 1986. The site presents the advantage of having been definitively abandoned and not rebuilt after having suffered total destruction after the First Punic War. This treated Tunisia and the international scientific community with only preserved Punic city. Hammamet This laid-back town on the Kampon Peninsula is Tunisia's top sun and sea resort, dedicated to easy-going beach vacations. Turquoise waters, the scent of jasmine, white houses and stone walls gilded by the centuries. Hammamet offers a more contemporary setting, while the forest and the lemon groves are a real pleasure for nature lovers. Short El Jarret It is a large and horrific salt lake. Usually it has little water in it and there is only a hypersaline wet layer. It is the largest salt pan of the Sahara Desert with a surface area of 7000 square kilometer. Medina of Kairouan Tunisia's holy city is the UNESCO listed city of Kairouan which is often referred to as the fourth holiest city of Islam after Mecca, Medina and Jerusalem. In Islam, one pilgrimage to Mecca can be equaled by seven pilgrimages to Kairouan. Medina of Tunis The capital city Tunis was once considered one of the greatest and wealthiest cities in the Islamic world. Today, Medina of Tunis is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and home to around 700 monuments including palaces, mosques, mausoleums, madrasas and fountains. Thank you for watching my video and please like, share and subscribe.